We've literally been here for a long time. I haven't seen a fish. We just don't know where they are. Could be, we just don't know how to catch them. It's, I mean, I just don't even know what to try next. Um, probably bait. Maybe if we go over there. So we first get down here and just checking out the lay of the land. We're at a spot we haven't fished before, but uh, so we're trying our normal <clears throat> kind of still water approaches and a couple of bumps, but uh, it's been pretty slow. So we're just switching it up. We start by switching fly types going from kind of buggerish, gaudy or stuff to more techy, match the hatch, calabatus, coronamids, that sort of thing. They weren't having anything to do with that. And so now we're switching to more kind of some flashier patterns that will pass for leeches or buggers probably won't work so we have Lance on fishing patrol while I yammer on but we'll figure it out so knows my hat for straightness <laughs> well it's been pretty slow put the midge tip on though and changed a few flies Found a fat tiger, not the longest of fish, but girthy. Oh, he just splattered your lens. <laughs> Tip's been working. I've got a team of two lightly weighted buggers on, little streamers, and uh, we were fishing maybe a little bit too slow earlier. When we first got here, the fishing was tough. Now I've caught a few fish real quickly, and uh, the difference is a little bit heavier flies and moving the flies a little bit quicker. The result is a fat tiger trout just like that. <laughs> So, picked up quite a bit when we picked up a good number of fish. And as it often does, sometimes on still waters it's starting to shut down. When I'm not catching them on a white complex twist, when they're obviously chasing bugs, it's something's, something's wrong. So we went back, back and forth with buggers. There's tons of scuds in there, so I'm gonna switch over to scuds and see what it does. I guess this complex twist just doesn't work, Cheech. Just kidding, it does. One of the best patterns out there. Anywho, we're gonna try again. <laughs>
So we're just throwing a little dry dropper rig. There's a little inlet just to our left, which is creating, I'm sure at higher flows, creates a little bit of a channel. So it's shallow and then drops off into a little depression. So we're just suspending a little chronomid below a dry chubby Chernobyl on top that's easy to see, floats high in a little chronomid down deep and then just tossing it out and usually letting it hang maybe 30 seconds max. Um, if you don't grab, get a grab, then you can reset it. But just tossing it out into the darker water where it drops off and waiting for that dry to go down. Oh, I really washed out rookie. Elusive, maybe not, but really pretty. You're good looking fish. So that was a brook trout. Uh, switch back over to coronamids. Can't miss with coronamids, so. Decent sized fish, but uh, it's a decent spot we've been pulling a few out. Keep on trucking. <laughs>